So recently I've just seen Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes, it's finally out in the UK as of August 2nd or 3rd. So yeah, I will be reviewing the film including giving you one simple answer of why it did not do well like, I don't know, in America, at the box, box office. Because you could go to other reasons, but to be honest, I'm going to tell you one thing. And I will link one of my videos down below where I basically said, can you please not spoil A Man and the Wars just yet in Jan, in July, because it hasn't come out in the UK just yet. But now, here's my review of it. And it may be something like the Avengers Infinity War one though. But spoilers! Batman and the Wasp takes place between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, but then I guess going towards Avengers 4, we'll talk about that later. So we get to see at the start a bit of a flashback, and then also we get to see, um, uh, I forget the name I do, I'm just going to call him Ant. We get to see Ant um, with... Um, after Captain America Civil War, it seems to me that he's now on House West. he is, and he's trying to live his life being a dad, but he can't leave the house, so eventually in the film he ends up phoning um, Hope and Hank because they had a massive disagreement, they don't talk to each other after the events of Captain America Civil War, because if you don't know, Ant-Man didn't make a very good decision on not telling them. But um, that happens, eventually they get back in content and the mission is to find um, them, to find the mother that means so much to Hope and also the wife to Hank. Now, spoiler, eventually they do. Now, the main enemy becomes the good guy, uh, Ghost. But what's weird about these Marvel films after Infinity War is that there's no enemy at all. The only real enemy that's destroying lives at the moment is Thanos, which at the moment we will skip to in a minute. But Ant-Man and the Wasp goes through different things it does. It's really good, it's really funny, it gives some little impacts from the past to the future and little hints, but I think the mid credit scenes or after credit scenes those are the ones that are most interesting to me and one reason why I saw this film. Ant-Man is saved from Thanos' snap as of Hank, Hope and also Janet is also affected prior to the snap and then the second after credit scene first of all that big Ant thing is still alive I guess doing his routines even though some of the people that who looked after him is now dead but we don't know is Ant-Man's uh, daughter or wife gone? Is all of his friends gone? We don't know because Thanos said he wanted to take up half of the popularity of the human race. And of course he did that. But now Ant-Man is now stuck in there. And unfortunately we won't have any answers until either Captain Marvel or Avengers 4. Which I've got to say... Rest in peace, and I hope that they bring you back. Now, before I actually give it a score, going off topic a bit, talking about other stuff, why didn't it do very well overseas, as of here, or in America? Well, it's simple really because Animal and the Wasps for the United States came out on the 3rd of July. And then, a month later, it came out on the 2nd of August. And apparently in Japan, they don't get it until the 31st of August at the end of this month. I know. I don't know what Marvel is doing at this point. I hope they don't do this with Captain Marvel or Avengers 4. Especially Avengers 4. We even get to Marvel because both of those films will have heavy spoilers that... That it'll be hard to keep off the internet. But anyway, so what do I actually give this score? Well, this movie... I first was on 7 out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 now, so yeah. Anyway, 
Um, nothing will be more like heart wrenching than that Spider Man death in Infinity War. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Just want to let you know you, my next review will probably be the Can't Lose KSI documentary. Anyway, peace guys. See ya.